Hey guys, so I'm uh, out and about. Um, I happened to stop by to, to, to check out something that I wanted to add to the channel. I've been looking for something like this for a while now, and I think I came across the perfect thing that I want. Just got done taking it for a test drive. No, it's not that one there, because you've already seen that one. It is a, a little bit different style, but it is this here behind me. The single cab, F-150, 96, long bed. So, you know, wanted a project truck that I could work on. It needs some work, but that's exactly what I was expecting, especially for the year it was. But I like this older body style. Overall, this is in good shape. There is some damage in the rear there, but yeah, all part of the process of fixing it up and seeing how it turns out. All right, so here we are, we've got it to the house. It is a 96 F-150 single cab long bed, uh, which is in surprisingly good condition. Uh, the body lines on this side are perfect. Uh, well, except for the bumper, but fix that. The paint's not quite perfect, but don't expect it to be. Very little rust. A couple of little spots here and there. And, and these trucks, yeah, like that, that, this area is normally completely rusted out. So being just a little bit of rust there, not too bad. Um, it does need a new tailgate. This side's got a little bit of damage um, here. I don't know if we can bang that out or not. I'll try. But again, you know, one rust spot here on something that on most trucks of this this year, this generation, that normally this whole area right through here, especially in an area that uses salt, is just rusted out completely. Uh, it is two-wheel drive. It is an a inline six. A little dirty. A couple of issues that I know of. Need to change out the radiator. That's going to be the first thing because there is transmission fluid going into the coolant. Didn't see any trans or antifreeze in the transmission fluid, which is unusual because normally if it's going one way, it's going to go the other way. But we'll see. I'll tear into it and see how that goes. Um, I know I definitely need to change out the radiator. I'll change out all those hoses. Get out, that all flushed out. Get this cleaned up a bit. The interior, um, pretty no frills. It has manual windows. Uh, they, there should be a door handle here to open that which is broken, so in order to get out, you have to roll the window down and reach out to open the door. Small chunk of the seat missing there, but otherwise the seat's in pretty good shape. The dash got a couple of cracks in it, a couple of loose pieces here and there. They need to be fixed up. Um, but, jump in. And it starts right up. 230,000 miles. It's seen its way around the block a few times. No headliner in here. Yeah, you can't get out. Here, you have to... Aww. Reach over to get out. Runs fairly smoothly. Most likely it's going to need a new exhaust. Which isn't surprising. Maybe we'll just straight pipe it and see how that sounds. Uh, and if it's completely horrible being a straight pipe six cylinder, then we'll decide what we want to do for an exhaust. The door chime. There. Now it goes off. <laughs> it 
Yeah, some fun little quirks, but that's to be expected. This is a two wheel drive, so uh, probably not going to be lifting it or I might level it. I haven't decided if I want to level it by raising the front or by lowering the rear. But I already have a four wheel drive truck, so I didn't need another one really. But I did want a project truck, single cab. I did want the long bed though because it does make it things easier when I go to Home Depot and I need to pick up wood or drywall or anything like that and I can actually fit it into the bed instead of having it hang out the back. Um, I do like that so it'll be more of the general duty truck around the house and but I do want to fix it up, make it as nice as possible. On this side the paint looks fairly decent. I don't know how it shows up on camera, but I mean, it's, yeah, for being a 20, what is it, 23 year old truck, it is in surprisingly good condition. So yeah, this, uh, have a new addition to the truck family here. And so you may be seeing some videos of work we do on this, but uh, in the next video, actually going back to the other F-150 might have to name these things so I know what to refer to them to but um, we're talking about doing bed liners and I wasn't sure if I wanted to do a spray in liner or a bed rug decided to go with the bed rug uh, when I have a bit more time in the day I will get that installed and I'll get a video of that to show the installation process and um, I have some tests I want to run on it too to see how sturdy it actually is and how well it holds up. If you'd like to see some more videos about the new, well, old F-150 here, the single cab, um, and like to see what becomes of it, let me know in the comments down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do, and give a thumbs up and like this video. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.